la pista, y la pista como no está pavimentada. Ya estamos en el 2024, 3 de enero del 2024, ¿cómo pasa el tiempo? Es increíble. ¿no? Recordamos que no hace mucho, en enero del 2023, estábamos en pleno problema de las protestas sociales, eh, la población que se levantaba contra el gobierno de Dina Boluarte y con lamentables pérdidas de vidas humanas. Ha pasado un año y recordamos que se han perdido vidas en Ayacucho, en Andahuaylas, en Juliaca y en varias regiones de nuestro país. Están justo a un año conmemorando precisamente la pérdida de estas vidas humanas, recordando, y lo peor es que pasado un año no hay culpables, no hay responsables, y eso es lo que indigna a la población. Sin embargo, nuestra presidenta de la República, Dina Boluarte, muy oronda ella. Martin Alberto Vichara Conejo, born 22nd March 1963, is a Peruvian engineer and politician who served as president of Peru from 2018 to 2020. Vichara previously served as governor of the department of Moquega from 2011 to 2014, first vice president of Peru 2016 to 2018. Minister of Transport and Communications of Peru 2016 to 2017 and Ambassador of Peru to Canada. Vichara was born in Lima, the son of Cesar Vichara Vargas, who was an American Popular Revolutionary Alliance. APRA member and Doris Conejo, an elementary school teacher. His father was a mayor of Mokegar and a member of the Constituent Assembly of 1978. His family was based in Mokegar but moved to Lima due to a pulmonary complication that put him on the verge of death at his birth. Vichara has stated that his father had a lasting impact on his life. ¿Qué tal? ¿Cómo están? Un saludo desde aquí, desde Independencia. Como todos los miércoles me conecto a través de las redes sociales, de Facebook, y lo hacemos en distintos lugares de la Gran Lima. Y hemos estado en Lima Centro, Lima Este, en el Sur, y ahora nos encontramos junto de personas, de hogares, de viviendas que tienen una serie de necesidades. Como ustedes pueden ver atrás de mí, se ve una gran parte de Lima, porque estamos en un sitio tan elevado de los niños, ya saben su necesidad. Me decía hace un momento, uno, Vizcarra, no tenemos agua. O sea, es algo tan elemental que ya lo vive en carne propia un niño, dice, Vizcarra, no tenemos agua. Es evidente que tampoco hay... His political ambitions began in his home region of Mokega, where he ran as an independent affiliated with the APRA party for the governorship in 2006, narrowly missing election. In 2008, Vitara led protests known as Mokegazo surrounding unequal mining payments to the community. He traveled to Lima to mediate the crisis, explaining the payment issue to the Peruvian Council of Ministers, who agreed to make necessary changes to laws surrounding the issue. This event inspired Vichara's further political ambitions. In the 2016 general election, Vichara ran with the Peruvians for change presidential ticket as Pedro Pablo's running mate candidate for first vice president, narrowly defeating Keiko Fujimori's popular force ticket. On 23rd March 2018, Vichara was sworn into office as president of Peru following the resignation of President Pedro Pablo. Throughout his tenure, Vichara remained independent from political parties promoted reforms against corruption in the legislative and judicial branches and vowed to not run for president when his term would end in 2021. During the COVID-19 pandemic in Peru, Vichara instituted stay-at-home orders and issued relief funds, but existing inequality 
overcrowding and largely informal economy saw Peru being heavily affected by the pandemic. As a result, Peru's gross domestic product declined 30%, increasing political pressure on Vichara's government. The 30th September 2019, following what he described as a factual denial of confidence against his government, Vichara dissolved the Peruvian Congress and issued a decree for legislative elections. This initiated the 2019 constitutional crisis in which Congress unsuccessfully attempted to remove him and resulted in the resignation of second vice president Mercedes Alors. A snap election for a new Congress was held on 26th January 2020 with the legislature elected becoming opposition-led once again. In September 2020, Congress opened impeachment proceed against Vichara on grounds of moral incapacity, accusing him of influence peddle after audio recordings were released by an opposition legislator. But the process did not receive enough votes to remove him from office. On 9th November 2020, the Peruvian Congress impeached Vichara a second time after declaring him morally incompetent and removed him from office. The president of Congress and opposition leader Manuel Merino succeeded Vichara as president of Peru the following day. Vichara's impeachment incited street protests as an overwhelming majority of Peruvians and Political analysts believed the impeachment was unsubstantiated, with several Peruvian media outlets rebelling the impeachment a coup. President Merino resigned after six days in office following the killings of two protesters by police. On 16th April 2021, former President Vichara was banned from holding public office for 10 years after allegedly jumping the line to get a COVID-19 vaccine.